March 8, 2024, about 9 a.m., right about 9 a.m., still half mile north of Fairbank, Iowa, on the west side of the road in the mobile home, uh, way down in Heinemann. Uh, this is a, an audio only for youtube.com forward slash at symbol IAM W A D E H E I N E M A N. Not video, audio only. There's no indication some fraud is matching up a video with my audios. They're audio only. Um, indicated about a blonde female that I was spying on some blonde female. No, that is a criminal fraud. Probably, um, they're prompting the YouTube has been prompting short clips of a blonde female that looks like sunshine, sunshine Eve from for, for free, uh, who disappeared December 30th, 2023 from for, for free. And I miss seeing her and she looks Similar, very similar in body. So I've been watching the their clips of this, like 15 second, 20 second clips of a blonde female wearing uh, underwear, lingerie, and she reminds me of Sunshine Eve. I miss Sunshine Eve, and that's why I've been watching them. She's also attractive, but it's uh, they they showed a picture of this other blonde female I have nothing to do with. So they're trying to frame me into spying on her. If they're using my data to do that, I don't know who she is. This is the kind of crap, you know, they torture me with the cowardly liar fraud network. It would be for the benefit of whoever's connected to them uh, for, you know, they're ripping me off my theories, I, theories, inventions, blogs, poems, sketches singing guitar playing compositions whatever it is i don't have any connection to that blonde female i don't know who she is i don't spy on anyone i'm not a fucking creep um my uh x.com forward slash w-a-d-e-s 2-n-d is where i continue to post x.com forward slash wade yes yes youtube.com forward slash at symbol i-a-m w-a-d-e-h-e-i-n-e-m-a-n is me and this one or and also youtube.com forward slash at wade yes um i mentioned on my ex that last night or the night before not this not just this past night but the night before uh, a cam model i haven't been going to the cam model sites much and again i haven't logged in since 20 uh 20, 2020 mark June of 2020 is the last time I logged into anyone. So I don't have a username ever. That's frauds that come in there and start making, typing things to make it look like I'm saying things. They're cowardly pieces of crap. So I'm not saying those things. They're saying them. But uh, there was a, the the one, cam model that I've kind of been going to, to more recently, but I haven't been maybe once in every three or four days I go there and sometimes two, three days in a row, but um, usually not more than two days in a row. She had flowers. She brought flowers into the screen. She got her clothes on and had flowers in her hands, and she said she didn't know who they came from. It wasn't me. I haven't sent anybody flowers since 2013. It would have been my ex-fiance, I think. I sent been the last time I sent flowers to anyone. Uh, I don't think I sent flowers to my girlfriend in 2014. I could have but I don't remember doing it. Um, and the last time I gave anyone, gave anyone flowers in, by hand was in uh, March of 2018, which I have mentioned before was a an unknown postal post office worker who I never had any contact with outside of the post office. I was on my way to the job, on my way back to the job when I worked on bridges in 2018. Never saw her outside the post office. I know it was indicated that I did. I don't even know. She's dark hair. She had uh, about 25 years old, you know. And, you know, I, when they're, you're looking, when you're single and you don't, you don't know who people are, uh, you can kind of tell when you're <laughs> – the reason that uh, I gravitate to women in their 20s and you can tell they're single a lot of times um, – most women, you don't, I mean, it's just harder to tell. And plus, you know, it, it's just, anyway, let's just keep moving. From this. Um, I'm, you know, I'm not going to apologize for interacting with women in their twenties uh, because 
those are the only ones available on flirtforfree.com. I'm not going to start chatting with women on a chat site or something because I don't know who they are and they'll be staging lies and I can't see what they're doing and then I can't, I don't have any control over the staging lies. When I go to a cam model site, I can see what they're doing and I can kind of gauge whether they're, they're, you know, staging lies or whatever. But she brought some flowers in the, I think they were tulips or something, something like that. Um, I have nothing to do with that. I bought a YouTuber, not a cam model. The woman that I bought a couple of gifts, about $20 total were the gifts, Was not is not a cam model. She's not a cam model at all. I'm not going to tell who she is because I don't want her to be swarmed with a bunch of frauds. And I know because what the fraud, some of the frauds know what I do online, she uh, may have been, you know, tricked into seeing some, one of them, but... You know, there's nothing I can do about that. But that's what the criminal shitheads do is any woman I show interest in, they swarm and and manipulate into dating them. And uh, then I don't have it. You know, I can't continue um, developing anything with the woman because that's what they do. That's why part of why I'm alone for so long. Obviously, they don't give a shit about me. The, the sabotage network doesn't. They want me to be alone so they can manipulate and defraud me for longer. So. That's what's been going on for, you know, eight years as far as me trying to meet anyone uh, since 20, actually since 2015, it's been going on. So I'm lonely. I'm alone. Way down in Heinemann, 52 years old, born 11, 471. And uh, they told my mom on the phone yesterday all kinds of stuff about, you know, how I'm feeling pretty down again because it's springtime and every spring they hit me with targeted energy attacks and toxin attacks all the way through may and then by may i'm depressed and i don't get anything done may june usually the last few years and then it's into i mean my disabled from the from what they do to me uh, all spring and then i'm depressed for another month and a half usually and then it gets toward the end of the summer and you know i'm so far behind that i don't get much accomplished all year long they do this every year and then they do it hit me in the fall as well before going into winter this is what kind of torture i've been through for 10 years now this is serious it's not a joke i'm not lying this is what has been going on for 10 years my entire life has been destroyed this is when i should be making money in my 40s and 50s and i've been going in the hole more and more all the way through my 40s and early 50s now because of these shitheads indication some of them are in the military that's a double shithead you're suppressing the truth and torturing an American citizen who's innocent. You're a double shithead. You should have your stripes torn off and burned right in fucking front of you. And I should be able to do it myself. I am born in the United States, Iowa, 11471. Gra graduated Wapsie Valley High School in 1990. And uh, I've always been a, a loyal American citizen. I've never had any connection to any other country has been indicated. Um we need to get these bad actors in the military and law enforcement in prison where they belong. They need to go to prison. I don't care if they have a family or not. Their family doesn't deserve to see them if they are frauds, defrauding American citizens. They need to be put in prison. We need to correct this in the United States. They need to go to prison 10 years. They need to have their life destroyed like I've had mine destroyed. This is not a joke. None of my posts are a joke. I have no connection to Elon Musk. If he ever claims so or claimed he's teaching me things, he's stealing my ideas or anyone else. And that is a greedy narcissist if he is stealing any of my ideas. He's already got how many corporations that he owns. He doesn't need to be stealing my ideas. I've been tortured for 10 years while I'm in the poorhouse trying to get out while I should be making the money that I should be making in my 40s and 50s for my ideas. Way down in Heinemann, half mile north of Fairbank, Iowa, in the mobile home. Uh, this is, again, YouTube only. YouTube.com forward slash at symbol I-A-M-W-A-D-E-H-E-I-N-E-M-N-M-A-N only. This will not, this, this audio should not appear anywhere else. I've never used TikTok. I've never streamed anything. I've never podcasted anything. I, I sometimes narrate my life and I vent my anger and PTSD at home because I cannot help it. Because my life has been like this for 10 years now. But 
the frauds hack my mic and then pretend that I'm threatening people or or use it to say I'm streaming something or on TikTok. It's all a bunch of bullshit. So 52 years old, still home by myself as always. No date, romance, relationship in nine years. No sexual contact in six years. Oh, and they mentioned there was an indication about a kitchen knife. Yes, I've got a flimsy $1.25 kitchen knife from Dollar Tree out and cut up potatoes and cabbage the last two days for cooking. And they claimed I, well, they didn't claim. Indications I stabbed someone again. No, you can't. You can't even stab someone with a dollar twenty-five kitchen knife from from uh, Dollar Tree. Or I, I, I to, seriously, I would, I would not understand how it could be done because it is so flimsy. It can't even hardly cut. It's so dull and flimsy. It can't even hardly cut the potatoes and cabbages. I have never stabbed anyone. I've never pointed a weapon at anyone, including a gun. I have never killed anyone. I've never raped anyone. I've never assaulted anyone. I have never done anything major crimes. OWI is my worst crime, and I didn't, I, I didn't do a hate crime like they said then. No, I've never done a hate crime. This is all shit, all made up. It should be obvious all the different indications that I have to shoot down every day that this is all bullshit. It's all, all bullshit. And all the people accusing me of it should be sent to prison, all of them. Wade Heineman, uh, March 8, 2024, signing off 9, 10 a.m. in the mobile home, half mile north of Fairbank, Iowa. We've been home since February 20th, have not left.